Since ancient times, people have been drinking coffee. And since 1988, there's been fair trade certified coffee. Now in 2013, Max Havelar is launching fair trade climate neutral coffee. Coffee originally comes from Ethiopia, where the coffee bushes grow under trees that provide the shade they need to thrive. But those trees are rapidly disappearing. People cook on open wood fires and chop down trees to claim new land for farming. If these activities continue unchecked, in 25 years, there won't be any forest left in Ethiopia. Meanwhile, humanity continues to emit too many greenhouse gases. The resulting climate change has an enormous impact on Ethiopian coffee farmers. Coffee bushes are extremely sensitive to increases in temperature. With a one degree rise, the quality of the coffee is affected. With a two degree rise, the coffee bushes yield far less coffee. And with a three degree rise in temperature, the coffee bushes struggle to even survive. It is far from fair. Even though the least developed countries hardly contribute to global warming, they suffer the most. And small-scale farmers are hit the hardest. Together with these farmers, Max Havelar and ECO have initiated the Fair Trade Carbon Partnership, a program that helps more than 30,000 Ethiopian farmers who are members of Fair Trade Cooperatives. Our program is threefold. First, distribute cook stoves that use far less wood. Second, plant new trees. Third, train coffee farmers how to make better use of existing farmland. Our goal is to protect the forests and to help small farmers generate more income. It's a good start, but it gets even better. Through these activities, the amount of carbon in the air is reduced. And because of these reductions, our partner farmers are eligible for carbon credits. They can then sell these credits to companies and others looking to offset their carbon footprint. For instance, a coffee roaster. With the purchase of these credits, coffee roasting companies can compensate for the carbon emissions in their coffee supply chain that couldn't be reduced. This makes their coffee climate neutral coffee. The coffee farmers get a fair price for their carbon credits, which provides them with additional income. But we're not done yet. Nearly half of all CO2 emissions in the coffee chain come from simply making a cup of coffee. And that's only a fraction of all the carbon emissions we produce in a day. That's why we need you. Your help in this initiative is crucial. And not just by buying fair trade climate neutral coffee. You can also measure the carbon footprint of your organization and reduce it. What's left over can be compensated with fair trade carbon credits. The more people who participate, the more small-scale farmers will benefit. The people most affected by climate change. Join us today and become a fair carbon partner.